welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Adullah with another new video. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we'll create that model and also uh, the basic phenomenon of a portal frame. So this is our lecture four. I mean, in our four lecture, I will show you about that how we'll apply load on our A structure. Okay, so let's start and if you are new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's start first of all to apply load we just uh, come here model and after that we have to give the wall panel I mean wall and also roof panel okay so I'll just click here wall panel just from here click wall panel and just zoom it and from here that point to that point or wall and from that point to that point again the initial point just here is our wall so for that one that point to that point so then that point here again here then here and again come here just see we can easily draw our wall actually so again that point to that point then that point then that point then that point again the initial point so to move that or to rotate that just to move use a scrolling button I mean press your scrolling button and to rotate your model just press your right mouse then click here left click left click left click left click and then again left click after that to draw roof panel just click here roof panel for roof panel just click here roof panel and from here select that point then that point and that point again click that point and just here okay after that again click here then here then click here and here and finally go here so we have complete I mean we have completed our wall panel and uh, roof panel so after that um, to just press escape to draw I mean exist that command then go load after that click here load case and from here I will see delete snow and also I will delete row flight after that just only uh, that's okay I will just only add the win load okay so from here I will select win load then press okay after that to apply load just from here select first of all suppose a uh, dead load to apply dead load just click here area load and from here give here your load suppose I will give here uh, for dead load I will give 1 kilonewton per meter square so just uh, click on that row and click on that row just it's done after that for live load uh, just for live load I will just give here 0 0 point sorry I will just give here 0 0.5 kilonewton per meter square ok so I will click here and also I will click here so it is done we have uh, successfully assigned our wall load I'm sorry our uh, live load and dead load in our row after that I will just select our wind load and after that come here wind wizard wind wizard just click here wind wizard then they have two methods first of all rigid building of wall height okay ASC or SEI 705 model method 2 
SCMS, American Society for Civil Engineers, and SEI means this is uh, a branch of ASCE. This is a Structural Engineering Institute. Okay. So after that, uh, and here is the low rise building. The building is less than 60 feet or 18 meter. But I will just select the first first one. This for wall height or for any shape of building. This thing for method two. Okay. So after that, I'll go next. And from here, just you have to give your value. Just see here your main row of height. Here is your main row of height. You know about that. After that, level of opening building six. Then overall building in cross section uh, twenty eight and overall building in y direction 15 just uh, what we have provided after that the overall level in model ignore wind below so from here uh, you can give her that value I mean ground level in model ignore wind below I mean from which level you want to from I mean from ground level ground level okay so from ground level at which height you want to ignore your wind load so I'll not ignore any window and orientation also I'll give here zero okay then uh, here I'll give eccentricity 0 0.5 actually it's sorry uh, I'll give five five percent okay then go next and from here basic wind speed meter per second so I'll consider here wind speed is 40 meter per second and from here you have to select the occupancy I'll select two then directional uh, directionality factor it will be available you, you will get that value from uh, actually I mean you'll get that value from your code after that enclosure classification which types of a structure that is so as we have provided wall every set so it will be enclosed and you will know that uh, for every industrial shape that is enclosed by every set so after that gust gust effect factor it will be also available it will be also available from our code and it is default its default value is 0 0.850 okay after that they have the axis and they have the exposure type and topographic features if you have any topographic features I'll just non I'll say non cause if you select topographic features suppose then you have 3d hill then you have to give here the crest height then crest height in uh, is ln okay then these two crest x so th that is also available in your code and if you think that that is required you can select that so I'll just select none after that click next so after that uh, this is our q value kN per meter square so it's okay then click finish also you can select uh, i mean see your details value from here so general this is the for general for site details here is the site details for principal axis also available here uh, everything uh, intermediate features for x here is the data for vertical uh, x x y just here is your data so just close that after that finish it okay so we have finished that and after that just click here they have a sorry this update zone here just click here here uh, here is a, a small button like wind load case okay create the wind load case just click here and from here uh, just click add and from here this is a uh, wind in x direction okay this for x direction and after that again add this is for y direction then again add this is for uh, minus x then add this for minus y okay um, that's okay after that click okay so it's done and you are seeing that here it's showing showing that so after that 
we have completed to give our I mean we have provided our all load successfully now we have to do a important thing actually from here the validate I will take our model now we have uh, completed everything here now we'll just take our validate just take click here and wait for some time now just see here everything is okay we have provided our load or model geometry everything is okay right so from here uh, we have ensured that our everything is okay so I'll just close that so uh, actually it's done so uh, we're the final stage of our structural design okay so we have done everything so in our next video in our next video actually I'll show you about that how will analysis and design for it okay so um, I think uh, that will be our last tutorial so if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and like our video share our video as much as possible to your engineer friend and also leave a comment your own like and your own comment inspire us for the next work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video